Hello, welcome back. Success. I was able to get my old server working. So this is our 1.2.5 with a Red Power 2 on it, back in the day, which was early this year. <laughs> um, let's see what I got here. So I got two quarries. I'm actually going to put it in creative mode. It makes it so much easier. Um, like a fly. And hover. Uh, so these are two quarries that I uh, dug out. You can see uh, I'm using teleport pipes here, which are pretty much take items from one place and, and put, make it directly go somewhere else without having to put all the different pipes in there together. So it makes it a little bit nice. Works for power as well, as you can see. Uh, this is a water mill, which produces energy. Uh, using wet red power, I have uh, what we got here. So I have a retriever that pulls the empty buckets out of the water mills, and then I have uh, fillers right here. You can see that suck uh, water out of there after it's a deployer. As soon as you see a bucket in here, maybe there you go. So the the retriever pulls the empty buckets out of the water mills, puts it into the deployer. The deployer then fills it with water. The filter right there only accepts full water buckets, then puts those water buckets. Oh, can't get over here. Hold on. Underneath and come on. As you can see, they go into the water mills if there's any room. So this is pretty extensive, and this is actually I'm actually really surprised right now. I'm actually running this server on my computer at the same time as I'm playing and recording, which is pretty reasonable, considering it wasn't this good before. Uh, so let's go back over to here. Oops. Oh, oh. This is the first quarry that I made here. Didn't have a whole lot of resources in it, but I did get a lot of uh, cobblestone and ore and uh, dirt. Um, Here's my tree form. I actually have two of them side by side. Um, those actually get that, that, that stuff. Yeah, look at this right here. <laughs> this was a fun build. <laughs> I'll come back to that. Uh, here's my two peat farms. Uh, here's some bees, actually. I do have a little bit of bees. I started some bees on here. Uh, I think they're currently empty right now. Yep. But yeah, these are all apiaries and the flowers that different flowers that the bees require. Uh, let's see, I got a wheat farm over here, um, like I said, two peat farms, let's, let's go down, let's go down here, okay, so, uh, this is a squeezer, it, if I turn this on here, it's going to take these apples and make apple juice, if you can believe it, that apple juice gets, go, goes over to here to get stored in this tank right here. Um, and that feeds, I have two fermenters. They take saplings and mulch, and they make biofuel, which is the green stuff here you see. Uh, sorry, biomass, which is the green stuff you see right here. And then that is being put through stills to make biofuel, which is the orange stuff right there. And then that is being pumped out of that into... Um, what did I have it pumped into? I can't remember. Oh, I think I have it pumped into um, making energy. Some sort of generator that uses biofuel to create uh, EUs, uh, industrial cap energy. Um, but the apple juice uh, is, a mod is a multiplier for the fermenter. So if you fill this up with, uh, with apple juice instead of water, you actually get an increased, um, increased production of biomass. Uh, just like mulch is the highest multiplier for the whole process as well. Um, the saplings are actually going to be fed in here underneath from um, from this chest right here. Yeah, and that's all from my tree farm. So it takes two, two tree farms uh, to keep a constant amount of saplings going through here to produce biofuel. Uh, these are electric engines that uses um, EU to produce Billcraft energy, 
Mega, uh, uh, Minecraft jewels. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look. What else we got here? Uh, it's that. It's that. Uh, this is the sorting. This is uh, I just, I just use diamond pipes up here to sort all all my stuff. Uh, these. This is really cool. This is what I miss most about about um, Red Power Two is project tables. So it has a storable in, uh, in, uh, inventory in the actual project table itself. But the really cool thing, like if you're making something, let's say you're making a switch and you don't have any cobblestone, you're like, damn it, I gotta go get some cobblestone. So you get it out of the project table, go get some cobblestone, come back, boom, oops, it's still there. So it allows you to, um, you know, build certain things, and if like you want to come back or whatever, it, you can just come back and and it's it's still there. The other awesome thing is, um, let's say you're making sticks, and you got four sticks, but you want to make more than four. If you have whatever you're using in the in the inventory of the project table, you can click multiple times to create certain things, or you can shift click and it'll make as many as it can with how much is in the inventory. So that's really cool as well. And I can tell you right now, the new version of Red Tip Power 2, which should be coming out fairly soon, uh, I watched a video this morning that mentioned that it may be as early as this weekend. Today's the 19th of December. Um, FTB is doing a whole bunch of stuff this weekend for um, a launch project uh, of, the new, of, the new launch, of the new launcher itself and all the mods for, uh, for 1.4.6. Or maybe not all, but most. Um, but one of the new things is in, in that in that version of the project table for the new version of uh, Red Power is there's actually going to be plans where you can set something up that you want to make. Let's say, let's say you're making a furnace. Oops, that's not the right. So no. <laughs> How about a furnace? Um, what you do is you put a blank plan over here, click a button, and it copies the recipe to the plan. You can then take that out empty out all of the things in here, put the plan in there, and if it ghosts the images of the resources that ne are needed in there, and if they're in here, it's fine, and you can make as many as you want, and not having to put any resources in here at all. And if you don't have certain things, it will read out the square that you need, so you know what you're missing. Really cool. I mean, you can have multiple pro project tables set up for different things that you make a lot of, like, you know, pistons and... Uh, there's like a lot of stuff in the mods that you know, like copper wire that you just make a lot of, and it's just really easy just to have a plan, take it in, boom, take the plan out, put the plan in, kind of thing. Um, this is my auto system for creating bog earth, I believe. Yep, bog earth. So I have all the items being fed into this chest. Then I have a retriever, red power retriever, set up here and here, which I actually have learned since then I don't need to. So this is what I like, really like enjoying um, uh, um, watching Dire Wolf videos, Dire Wolf 20s videos, because I learn a lot about um, about Red Power and you know easier ways to do things and what exactly everything does. So um, it actually takes um, there's a deploy here, and it can, the deployer can get out uh, get water out of this tank, um, and it fills up the uh, buckets with water. And actually, I don't have any sand in there right now. Huh. I should get some. As you notice, this is totally different than... Uh, you see a whole lot of bog earth being dug out of that crafting table because these are probably all empty. Oh, actually it's not. Oh, I don't know why it's left on, that's why turn that off. Oops. Or I can just destroy it. Anywho. Um, so yeah, that's the auto, auto, so you can see the buckets going through. Being filled up again. Kind of cool. Uh, here's another one of those water mills. Uh, this, this thing, as you can see, is not getting enough power to power everything that I have going on right now, even with, uh, with the, oh yeah, that's what it is, a biogenerator. Okay, so the biofuel is going through there and filling up the biogenerator. Um, it just, all these things use up quite a bit of energy and it's not the most efficient. This is an older version, so it's, it's actually better than now than it was. Um, but this system right here was a way for me to, I believe, let me see, what was it? Uh, Biocell. Um, it was some sort of, what was it? Some sort of, 
that pumped out of here, went into here. Hmm, centrifuge extractor. Oh, that's right. I was turning uh, my extra wheat into plant balls, and then plant balls into compressed biomass, and then I was using the the those to power generators. And it worked. Um, it just wasn't efficient enough to produce enough. I, I didn't have enough resources. So I, I would need like two or three more farms because each, it takes eight wheat to produce one plant ball. And it just wasn't, this wasn't working. It wasn't worth it. So it was fun to build though. Um, now I'll go ahead and show you our main base. This is our, uh, this is our backyard right here. Uh, this is one of the builds that I made right here, which I'm really proud of. It took me a little bit of time to work on. Let me go ahead and change the time of day. Uh, this is a farm that just never got finished because we didn't actually end up needing it. Um, but I set up a there's a computer over in this door over here, which I will show you after this done doing its job. Um, but one of the cool things about Red Power 2 is something called frames, uh, which you see this right here. This is a frame, normal block frame. Uh, oh, there it goes. So when the light gets a s level, gets a, s a certain level, which is low, it will turn on. Um, it will close this, and it should close the top as well. Maybe there's an issue with that. Maybe during the update of me trying to do this, did not something didn't work. Uh, what do we have here? Aha! Uh -huh. That could be the problem. Uh, let's see. As you can see, this is not NEI. This is too many items, which is definitely not not as cool. You have to actually search, you have to know where things are at to find them. Which I know these are over here. And the cool thing about NEI is you can sort all the stuff you don't want to see. Okay, so I need white. Uh, let's see, so... where do you go? Why is it over there? So I need white, and... I need to get this... and this... So that's why I did... there you go, see? It moved, but it wasn't enough. It didn't, uh... I was too late. But yeah, but this opens and closes depending on the day and the light level. So, it, there it goes, closes. Now it opens because it's bright, the light sensor, which is right there, where that orange wire, uh, lime wire is at. Ta da! Kind of cool. Um, Alright, this is the house. This is actually uh, mostly designed by. Oops, sorry, I have to close the cactus. Uh, this is actually mostly designed by Grant himself, the great architect. Um, this is our machine room, where all my machines, pretty much, what I use that he, you know, built me a room for. Um, these are all a bunch of different stuff for forestry, industrial craft, all that kind of stuff. Um, down here uh, was was my my lava production that kept all this full of power, which is still going strong, but not exactly the the best. Um, infinite water source. This actually goes down further quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to creative mode. Um, but yeah, uh, so these blocks that you see here are marble. This comes in with Red Power 2. Very popular. Very pretty. I like it. Um, and you have the block form of it, and then you have the normal form. This is, this is the block, uh, brick, uh, sorry, it's not block, but brick form of stone, brick form of marble. Um, some of the work I did on the front here, you can see these are actually Red Power 2 blocks that you can cut with a saw, uh, which are really cool. I will, I'll show you how to do that. But you can see the front of our base here. Uh, the black is basalt. That is actually from volcanoes. Yes, Elaram, the mod author of um, Repair 2, put volcanoes in, and I will show you the aftermath of one one such thing. 
Uh, but all of these are called micro blocks in this the, the, uh, a uh, design that I kind of came up with, Grant and I. Then I did the top, finished the tops with the basalt. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, pretty cool. Um, let me see, let me show you real quick here. I don't know if I have my saw on me, I do not. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick, or find one real quick. Uh, but yeah, most of all the stuff um, that you see was created legitly. Uh, we didn't cheat in any of this. The last thing I show you was cheated in. It was the only thing that I cheated in. Um, just because of time constraints at the time. Oh, come on, where is red power stuff? Okay, so... Alright, so I'll, I'll get uh, one of these, and I'll get one of these, because those sickles are really cool. I'll show you what those do. Uh, so, yeah, if you take a mini block that can be placed down, I think even sand... Nope, not sand. Sand can't hold its form. Uh, cobblestone. You can create slabs by cutting it once. If you put it again, you can create panels. And if you cut it again, you can create covers. Pretty cool. Uh, if you put it this way, um, that should. Oh wait, no. You gotta do this, and then this. You can create strips. And then if you p cut it again, you can create columns. And then um, you see. All I'll, I'll do is I'll, oh, you can actually you can place it down and show you what it looks like. Do that, take that, and uh, what should I get rid of? Get rid of that for now. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when you when you place them down. They actually have a really cool system. It ghosts an image of where you can put it, so you can see where it's going to go, and it goes on the outside edge of the block. So you can do that and actually make it look like a block. Uh, here's a slab, what a slab looks like. And then there is that, a strip little thing there. Um, and here is a thinner panel. So there's cover covers, panels, and slabs. And you can, like I said, any, any block you can cut, you can, you can, uh, any block that you can place, you can, you can cut. Uh, I don't need, I don't need ash. Of that. Uh, so there we got some farms over here. Uh, this is flax, also part of Red Power. Um, it gives you string. It's a plantable string, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, of course, you got reeds here. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and fly over real quick, and I will show you the the volcano or what is left of it. <laughs> this volcano had some issues and um, they actually grow. They will actually will move and and spew, spew lava and destroy things if you build too close to it, which we ended up doing. Uh, so Grant got really mad at it and it was it was really frustrating. Uh, so what we did is we, we blew it up with nuke. And um, I will show you what it looks like. <laughs> Um, it was actually multiple nukes and it actually crashed the server because it was so much choke loading and I, my hand, computer couldn't handle it. Like Grant could go down there but I couldn't go down there. Uh, it, it was pretty bad. But here... Here is the top of the volcano. <laughs> this is what the volcano looks like. This is basalt. Let me make it a little brighter so you can see it. So this is what basalt looks like and this is, this is like I said, this is the top of the volcano. This is what we built down. This. There is a, in the middle of any, every volcano is a tube that goes down that covers, that goes, that carries lava all the way down to the bottom. Um, and then there's caverns in between, um, uh, around that area. And those caverns are full, normally, of monsters, but uh, resources as well. Um, so this is the hole. Uh, some leftover glass. <laughs> that was where we were hiding behind <laughs> when we blew up the nuke. And we were still too close. So you can see how big of a hole this is. Just a massive hole. It totally just scarred the land. But you can see exactly what uh, exactly what the, the nukes can do when they blow up. So that's why they're bad to blow up. And the newer version of IC2 makes it much, much easier to handle control. Uh, so let me go ahead and go over to uh, the... Um, 
the last thing I want to show you, and then uh, that'll pretty be, pretty much be it. Uh, I'm not going to edit this much. I'm probably just going to leave it the way I am, way it is, just because it's it's quicker and easier, and I don't have everything set up on my new computer yet for uh, my editing software yet. Um, so I'll just gonna upload these directly to YouTube the way they are, and, and then just make them private, and you guys can uh, send it to who you want. Um, I'm gonna probably send it to not to too many people, but I mean people that have shown interest or have already played Minecraft. Uh, and I and I mentioned I was gonna make the video, so um, I actually made this build for a friend of mine who loves what you you know the figure that you're about to see. Um, so let me go over there real quick. So let's say you're walking down, you know, and you're gonna say, what did you do? What's this archway right here? Huh? Huh? What is that large mass of sand? The wall of sand over there? What? What is that? Oh, well, what, there's a computer right here. A Red Cafe 3 computer. What? What's that all about? Let me click on this. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Let me see if I can remember. <laughs> um. Let's do drop SP caps, if I remember correctly. And then actually, let me do 15 ticks drop. That's a delay. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fancy? Is that Nyan Cat? What? What? What is it made out of? What? Let me see what that is. Holy crap, it's made of lights. Isn't that something? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Talking about an annoying build. <laughs> uh, it was quite a, quite a challenge. These are all lights underneath the uh, ground here. Um, but, um, yeah, you can see the extensive framework that I had to do to get that to work. Um, but I'll show you the back part of it. Um, let me get so yeah. Let me take this out. Very extensive wiring because I actually have it set up so that I can actually have multiple or single things turned on at a time. So each color pretty much has its own color of cable. So like so, for example, here's pink, which is its own code, uh, binary code that you can program. White, light gray, uh, purple. Uh, all this are, all this is pro programmed in. So that I can turn in cer turn on certain sections or all the sections at a, at a time using binary uh, code. That's how the red power cable works. Um, so so yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy the way it turned out. Uh, let, actually, I'll show you the rest of it here. Hold on, let me get out of yeah, this crazy crazy place. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, nope, almost. Okay, there we go. Um, Creeper, oh no! Shoot you with laser. Pew, pew. <laughs> Miss me. Um. All right. Let me get light now, so you guys can see what's going on. Don't want to get shot in the back. Oh, damn it! Put a hole in the wall. Damn it! Sorry, Grant. There you go, now he'll burn. Okay. So let's not shoot this with the laser. Let's do off. Boom. Okay, so I think I need to do in. Let me go verify that. That should move the frames in. Yes. Okay. And then I will do. Like I said this is much much better server. Hardly any server lag at all. Uh, let's do 25 times gravel. And that should drop sand from above. Just like that. And that stacks up and covers up the nine cat. Those are uh, deployers. Yes. And um, what's actually happening right now is the sand that you saw fall down before is actually being eaten by block breakers at the bottom. 
and being sent through all these pipes to the back of the deployers. Um, so it's 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 a pretty crazy system. Like I said, that's why I cheated. Just because I mean, look at all this. You need so much. Here comes all the sand. <laughs> you just need so much, so much um, pipe to to do this. And like I said, I was still learning red power at this point. So there's a much easier way to do this. I could probably figure it out now. That oh, I, I wanted to make sure that each pipe didn't each deployer had sand in it the right amount to cover up this. Uh, and it was it was just wasn't working the way I had one pipe coming up with all the sand and then separated out just it just wasn't it just wasn't working uh, so that's why I did it that way even though it was took a long time and like I said I had to cheat everything in but but yeah I think it was worth it so all right well I'm gonna go ahead and end it here uh, if you guys like I said if you guys have any questions uh, if you want me to do a video of showing something else more in depth just let me know um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, if you have any interest at all in playing on the server that I'm going to be making, hopefully soon, I'm not sure exactly when, uh, let me know, and uh, we will hopefully have some fun. It, it is definitely more fun to do a modded server with other people. Sure, it's fun by yourself, like I, I do, but I mean, it is much more much more enjoyable when there's multiple people involved, and people have different ideas, and we can have you know, like a, res or a shared research r uh, resource room, and people can copy each other, and um, like I, just, I said, I think it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, if, it, like said, if anybody's interested, so uh, I hope to get this video out tonight, if not tomorrow, so uh, have a good one, alright, bye.